Hey and welcome back to another Darkfall quick tip video. Today we're going to be looking at how to create an infinity plane. That is pretty simple to do. Um, when you've created a model you usually want to add a background or some sort of plane like this, some sort of curved plane. So a few people do it different ways. I'm just going to show you a quick way how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is arrange your model. And then we can go ahead and shift A add in a plane. Scale that up. You want to align it so it's the floor. Okay, so now it's in position. We jump to the camera view by pressing numpad zero, and then we can scale it up a bit. We also want to scale it on the X, like so, and tap into edit mode. If we use edge select mode and select this edge here, then if we hit E to extrude, and then press Z to constrain it on the Z axis, just extrude it straight up. So you want to give this a curve. Um, so if we select this edge again, if we hit Control B, so make sure you're in edge select mode, and if we hit Control B, it'll do this. And then if we scroll up the middle mouse wheel, we can increase the amount of cuts. So we scroll the middle mouse wheel up. And again, if you move your mouse, you can get the curve that you want. So I just say something like this. And if we jump back to the camera view, we can see how much it's done. So I'm going to control Z and undo that and do it again from the camera view. So I can see how much um, curve we need. So again, how much curve you put on it is entirely up to you. There's no set amount of <laughs> curvature of this infinity plane that you need to do. It's, it's entirely up to you. So we also want to make sure you smooth it. So if you still get some problems, add on an edge split modifier. And if you still want it even more curvy, you can just add on a subsurface modifier. But I think that's enough. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple way to add in an infinity plane. Um, and if you hit Control R to add some loop cuts, then we can move it and just make it curved. Because you can see the angle that my camera is at, it's not straight on to the, the model, so sometimes it's best to curve it slightly a little as well. And again, play around with the split angle if you still have some uh, sharp edges. But essentially, that's it. <laughs> so hopefully this quick tip helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like. And as always, thank